Thank you to Finance Chair Drum for your uh, current and past leadership and our new chair, Mark Traeger. It said some, says something when former teachers have led our education committee for two uh, consecutive terms. I will use my time to ask three questions, so pencils out. Uh, thank you to Mayor de Blasio and Chancellor Farina for finally keeping the promise of universal school lunch, which combined with breakfast after the bell has done much to take on youth hunger, but we have one meal remaining. How many schools offer after school with dinner programs to how many students, and how much would it cost to roll it out to every school with how much federal reimbursement available? Second, as a proud graduate of the Bronx High School of Science, a public school, I was disappointed to see reports of a decrease in qualifying scores for children of color. When I attended, there was a discovery program that opened specialized high schools to low-income children with lower scores following a summer enrichment program. In 2016, I was happy to see the mayor announce the discovery program for Brooklyn Tech, where his son graduated. Will you make the discovery program available to Stuyvesant and Bronx Science to increase opportunities to low-income communities of color? Yeah. And my last question is, uh, last week I joined students in grade, middle, and high schools in walking out for sensible gun reform without knowledge of whether it would be met with discipline. I understand the mayor also participated. What is the DOE policy on this activism? And despite prior opposition with so many student activists, will DOE now support an expansion of the Young Adult Voter Registration Act from providing registration forms with diplomas to actually regi stu registering students in school along with mock voting and supporting the council legislation to do just that? Right. I will start with question number one, which was about food. Um, we do offer a supper service uh, at schools. I don't have the number of schools that are currently serving it, but we can follow up with your office after uh, this meeting um, and happy to discuss where we're seeing use of that. We do know that it is an important component for many families uh, and that families sometimes choose to participate in after school programs because they know that there is that supper program available to them. I would love to have an eye towards universal after school with universal supper. Great. Next question. And I'll answer the question on the discovery program. Um, we, under this administration, we've really increased our seats in discovery, which is a great thing. Um, Bronx Science is involved with it as well. This year, we're opening up discovery to Stuyvesant. Um, the principal has been working very hard with that. And last year, we spoke about it in length. And this, this summer, he's, he's going to start participating with the other specialized high schools. So the answer is yes. Great. And uh, last question student voter registration and mock voting, and will the kids get in trouble for walking out with us? Go ahead. <laughs> so on the discipline related to um, the walkout, um, in, we did send guidance to all principals as well as to families that uh, obviously if a parent sent in uh, notice that their child would walk out, that there would be uh, no implications at all. Uh, any student who participated in a walkout without that uh, would be included in a, the fra infraction known as B03, which is cut in class, uh, for which there is a very mild disciplinary response of typically a conversation with a school counselor. Uh, and voter registration? So on that piece, we, so uh, it, just recently the mayor announced Civics uh, Education for All, so which we will be expanding voter registration. I'm um, really thankful to you all who've been leading this work for the past couple of years. Um, and so we're excited to expand voter registration. And mock voting. Okay. Thank you, Councilmember Kalos. Uh, pens, pencils down, I guess. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, is it, yeah, there's no extra time here. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> next.